Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this super cute checkered book cover. I've seen these cute cases on Pinterest recently, but I loved this one in particular, so today we're going to be recreating this checkered one. Before we get started though, thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers! I love you all so much. You are always the sweetest down in the comments. So just a big thank you to everyone. With that being said, let's get started. For our materials today, nothing too crazy. We are just gonna need your two choice colors for the project and I'm using a yarn that is weight 4 or bulk 4. As for the crochet hook, I'm using a classic 4 millimeter hook and then aside from that we'll just need a yarn needle to sew in those ends and of course some scissors as well. But that is all you will need for this project. So in order to help you visualize how we're going to tackle this project, I'm going to try to explain what we're going to do here. So first we're going to crochet the base, which is going to be along the spine of the book. Now if you are attempting to crochet a book cover for a like, much thicker book, then you might want to try doing two squares wide, depending on how thick your book is but I find that this one row of squares will be just enough. And now this is gonna hold true for the entire project. Each square is going to be four stitches wide and three rows tall. So every single row is gonna be 12 stitches technically. You're gonna do four across, half double crochets, and three rows of that. So we're gonna use that technique to crochet however many squares you need for the height of your book. And I'm going to show you how to do this. But after that, we're just going to be going in rounds, just going around and around, straight up for the width of your book. And that's, that's the whole idea behind it. So getting started, you're going to take one of your yarn colors, doesn't matter which one, and we're going to make a slip knot, which you're going to do by wrapping around your finger twice then pulling the first loop over the second, then the second loop over the first, and all the way around your finger. Now we're going to put that slip knot right onto our hook. And next we are going to chain five. Here we have one, two, three, four, five and we're going to do a half double crochet into the second chain and then we're actually going to half double crochet across but first just starting with the second chain from your hook right here just like that so now we're going to do another half double crochet Our third half double crochet here. And our fourth one. So that completes our first row, and you're gonna have four stitches across. And now, like I mentioned before, we're going to need to do two more rows, so we have three rows in total. So we're going to firstly chain one up and then flip your work and skipping that chain we just did, we're going to half double crochet into that very next stitch. So that's our first half double crochet and now we're just going to go across. So you're going to do three more. There's two. three,
and four. That was round two. We've got one more row to do in green. So we're gonna chain one and half double crochet into the second stitch from our hook. So just skipping that chain, going into that next one. And then we're gonna do three more half double crochets across. But once we get to this last stitch here, we're only going to complete it halfway. Before finishing off that stitch, leaving those three loops on your hook, you're gonna set it aside and we're gonna make a slip knot with the other color actually. Then putting that slip knot right onto our hook, we're gonna use this yarn to pull through all three and finish off the stitch, just like this. So next, we're gonna try to hold these yarns, spare yarns in the back, and then we're gonna chain one. So next, we flip our work over and we're gonna continue with these half double crochets. So again, just skipping that chain, going to the very next stitch, and then we are doing three more across. But now we are just working with that white, but you'll see this pattern is we're just doing basically four half double crochets across, chain one, four more across, and every fourth row we are going to change colors in order to get these squares for the checkered pattern. So here's our second row, finishing up, chaining one, half double crocheting across, and here we'll change color once again at the end of the row once we get there. So here we're going to stop ourselves before we finish off that stitch. Just kind of pull this white yarn to the side. And we're actually gonna just grab this green yarn right here and just pull it up. If you don't like having this yarn existing here in the back and you think it's gonna catch on something, you could just cut the yarn and then rework it in with like a slip knot again. But for me, this works easiest. And we're also just gonna do this for the base round. We can hide our yarns better throughout the rest of it. But again, we're just chaining one, half double crocheting across with this green color now. So we'll do three rows of green, and then we're gonna do three rows of white, and green, and white, and the pattern continues. So I think you get the idea here of the pattern that we're doing for the base, and now you're just going to continue this for the height of your book. So you can hold it up to the spine of the book, and you're just going to keep doing blocks until it is as tall as your book is. So for me, this ended up being 10 squares tall but they go really fast because you're just doing four stitches across. So we will meet you back when you have the base crocheted. 
So as you can see here, this is what the back ends up looking like. And this is the front. But yeah, I ended up having 10 squares tall. So continuing right where you left off, once you reach the height, we're going to chain one and then half double crochet into that very next stitch, skipping the chain. And we're gonna actually half double crochet across on the end, just as if we're doing one more round. So here we are actually going to change colors right at the end. So on that fourth one, we're gonna change colors. Now working with our green, rather than flipping our work and, and keeping going the other way, we're actually gonna continue around the side of the base. So on this square, we're going to just make sure to work in four half double crochets with green. So I'm gonna start right close to, to the edge here and do our first one. Our second I'll do right about here and just make sure we leave enough room for three and four but on our fourth one we are actually going to change colors again and work back with the white color Now, now that you've switched colors again, I'm actually going to recommend that you just, the color that you're not using, to just crochet over it as you're going, because that'll hide that end easily without you having to weave in and a million yarn tails after you're done with this project. And then it's, it's pretty seamless and you can't really see this through the front of the project. So we're just going to do four more half double crochets. Here's our first one and our second one. And after this row, it gets a lot easier. We don't have to be worried about where you're placing your stitches because you'll already have them placed. So switching colors again, back to green. So I think you can kind of get the pattern here. We're just doing four switching colors, four switching colors, and we're gonna repeat that to the end of this row, and then I'll show you me going around the corner again. So here we are approaching this corner, and if you haven't noticed yet, unfortunately we do have to have one small inconsistency with the pattern, and it's basically right on this end, we're gonna have two green squares right next to each other, and I could not figure out a way to have a perfect pattern around the whole thing so this is just a, a small sacrifice that we have to make unfortunately. So it's changing colors and moving around to this side. We're not doing anything fancy just continuing the half double crochets on this edge which is going to slowly start to make this kind of rounded and the work will start going upward if that makes sense. So that was our first half double crochet. And we're just gonna do three more with this green color right on the end. So 
so going into that last stitch and it's a little bit hard to see but it's there I promise and just holding that green yarn out of the way and I would actually recommend keeping one of your yarns on the left side and one on the right and then kind of getting into a pattern of holding the right one to the back when you're switching colors and the left one to the front that might not make sense immediately but hopefully it will as you uh, are working on this project I just went ahead and cut off that tail that we were no longer using and we're gonna continue on just around the corner just keep continuing those half double crochets and you'll see it start to get a little bit more round as we go and more 3d I guess So same as the first half of this round, we're just going to continue across doing the four, half double crochet, changing colors, doing the four. We just want to have inverted colors from that first round. Well, everywhere but the end, but we're not going to talk about, we're not going to talk about her. So continue on just like this and we'll meet you back at the end of the round and I'll show you what to do there. So here we are approaching the end of the round. So on our fourth and final stitch with the green here, we are actually going to change colors in that final stitch. So now that we've changed colors, we're going to look to this end here and look to the first stitch, which is a little bit difficult to see, but you can also count four from the left. And we're gonna slip stitch into this first one that we did in the row. Just like that. So now we're gonna chain one and we're gonna begin the second round which, spoiler alert, is exactly the same as this first one, but it's a little bit easier now that we have these stitches already done. So here's the first stitch, and we're gonna do four across. Switching colors, of course, we're going to do now four in green. And again, switching colors to white, we'll do four in white. So this is definitely becoming pretty repetitive, but Basically the rest of the project is going to be doing this same pattern, except we're just going to be inverting the colors after every three rows. So once the squares are complete, they're, they're a complete four stitches wide, three rows tall, then we'll just invert the colors again, which I'll show you how to do after we do this second round and then the third round. But you probably see where this is going now. So continue around and we'll meet you back at the end of the second round, doing just as you did in the first. So here we are coming up to the end of the second round with our green and we're going to change color on this last stitch just like we did in the first round. And now we're going to find the first stitch of the entire round and slip stitch into that one. 
And same as last time, if you need to count from the left, you can do that to help find the, the, the stitch. But we're just going to slip stitch. And so you can kind of see it becoming more round and be more 3D with the finishing the second round. So to start off the third round, we're going to chain one and half double crochet into the very next stitch after you skip the chain. And we're going to do three more across in white, changing color on the last stitch there to green. And then we're going to continue pattern once again for round three. Same as the last round and the round before that. We will meet you back at the end of round three and we'll have something different, slightly different, in the next round, I promise. So coming up at the end of round three, we are going to do something slightly different here. And when we do our last stitch, we are not going to change colors. That is because we are going to be working, we're going to be inverting the colors now. So we're already working with green and we're, green is what we're going to need for the start of round four. So slip stitching into the first stitch of the round. Yet again, we're going to be still working with the green. And we can just crochet over that white yarn still. We're going to go ahead and chain one. And then half double crochet across the round with green. And so we have now finished that first row of squares, if you will, and we're going to be starting the next row of squares by just simply inverting the colors of this row. So wherever you see white, you're going to be crocheting with green, or wherever you see green, you're going to be crocheting with white, or whatever colors you're using, but that's the idea. So we're definitely seeing that checkered pattern emerging here. And you can actually go ahead and slip your work on the end of your book to make sure it's fitting and uh, get an idea of how much more you have to go. So we're just going to be continuing like this, inverting the colors every fourth round. And you're just going to crochet as many rounds as you need until you reach the width of your book, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and send you off on your own. You have all that you need now, and you just gotta, gotta get crocheting. A lot of half double crochets to come, but I'll meet you back in a day, in a week, however long it takes, it doesn't matter. And then we will finish off this project. So here is my nearly complete book case. I ended up doing seven squares wide. That was just the measurement that fit my book best, which ended up being, I guess, 21 rounds. And this is what it looks like on my book. So the last round that we're gonna do is just a little bit of trim. This is totally optional, but I just liked how the one last row of trim looked. So getting started with a slip knot with, uh, I'm using the green color. You can do the white if you like, whichever you want for your trim. We're gonna make that slip knot. And now we're gonna insert our hook somewhere in the row. You can insert it where you just left off. Totally up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and insert it right here and then put our little slip knot on the hook. Now we're gonna begin with a chain one. And then we're going to do a slip stitch in the next stitch, just like this. 
and then we're gonna do another slip stitch spoiler alert we are going to do this same stitch all the way around the edge so we'll just do an entire round of slip stitches which I use all the same color for this so I use green over top of the green and white squares and it just kind of gives it a nice little finishing touch in my opinion now speaking of finishing touches if you want to crochet some kind of mechanism to close your book cover or to keep it shut you can certainly do that maybe with a button and like a crochet loop that you attach to it I just liked the clean kind of look without it so totally up to you but we are just going to continue doing these slip stitches along this very last round and we'll meet you back at the end of the row so coming up to our last couple slip stitches now we're going to go ahead and do one more slip stitch where we started just like this and now we're going to cut a kind of short tail of yarn just so we can sew that in and hide the ends and we'll go ahead and knot off this end so that it's gonna be nice and secure and now we're gonna take a yarn needle and put our little yarn tail on this and just hide our ends so this holds true for any remaining yarn tails you might have on the inside we're just gonna go ahead and weave those ends in And once you're done, just go ahead and trim the remaining yarn off. And there we have our finished product. This little bookcase is super cute. I think it would look really nice if you actually display this or just carrying it around in your bag. If you made it to this point in the video, go ahead and comment what colors you're using. With that being said though, if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you all very soon with another crochet project. Bye!